She's 102 years old and still enjoying her favorite hobby. One local artist truly proving that age is just a number. Uh, she's still turning out works of art after decades of painting. And Dawn, she looks really focused still. <laughs> she is so amazing. She's from right here in Chestnut Hill. And I have to tell you, honestly, I would never have guessed in a million years if I didn't already know that this sweet, talented, and engaging woman is a centenarian. Always liked art and painting. And at 102 years old, Emily Brazge is still at it. She studied at the Pennsylvania Academy of the Fine Arts as a young woman, but says one of the things that got her interested the family card game. Our family used to play cards a lot, and we had a wonderful pack of cards that had um, famous artists on there, and that sort of intrigued me. Known as Kao to her friends, she began painting portraits in her 40s, including former Governor Raymond Schaefer and several Commonwealth Court judges, which hang in the state capitol. She recalls a retired lawyer recently remarking on them. He saw my um, portraits and he said, oh, I know them, each one of them. So I thought, good, it worked. Emily also painting many portraits over the years of Philadelphia families. Five of them adorn the walls in the home of longtime Chestnut Hill resident Jack McMeekin. I like her as much, if not more, than her work. She's just such a genuine person. Emily grew up in Chestnut Hill, but has spent the last 20 or so years living in Cathedral Village in Upper Roxboro, where her home is pretty much her studio. This one I painted here. They were sitting right here on the sofa. This centenarian has painted all her family members, her daughters and grandchildren. This is a recent one of granddaughter Sarah. She says her style has changed and evolved from realistic to more abstract, as you can see by the work covering her walls. As for her portrait painting... People still ask me. I'd give it a try. And no, don't expect Emily to be hanging up her paintbrushes anytime soon. I feel uncomfortable when I'm not painting. It's just something that happens. Of course, I had to ask her her secret to a long life and good health. The answer, exercise. She was an avid tennis player and golfer in the day, and now she walks every day. She's also very socially active, Jason and Sheba, and has lots of friends and is involved in the community where she lives. Uh, Don, did you say if somebody could buy any of her paintings, does she sell them? Oh, absolutely. This was her profession for, for many years. Uh, now she more or less does it for fun, but absolutely, she was a professional portrait painter. I'm just thinking about now. I'm yeah. wanting to... Yeah. I know, right? Yeah. Yeah. Really? The portrait of... Really impressive. Yeah, the portrait though. of her granddaughter was, was so good, yeah. And, and still has a steady hand at 102 years old. I mean, she's got a steadier hand than both of us oh, combined, no doubt. I think, at this point. <laughs> no doubt. Don, thank you so much. Mm -hmm. You know, we, we so love your stories. Thank yeah. you.